The 2013 men's final was between the top seed Novak Djokovic and the third seed Andy Murray. This is the 18th meeting between the pair and a rematch of the semi-final last year which Djokovic won in five and the US Open final which Murray won in five. The crowd was looking forward to an exciting match and the players were up to the challenge. Murray was taking advantage of a heap of unforced errors from Djokovic, running out the tiebreaker easily. It was a punishing match with both players pushed to the edge. The second set also going to the tiebreaker. This time it was Djokovic grabbing the ascendancy. Djokovic grabbing the set to level up the match. <laughs> Murray was struggling, taking a medical timeout for a foot injury in the change of set. The third set was a carbon copy of the previous two, with players continuing to hold serve. At 4-3, there was the first break of serve with Djokovic grabbing it to go to a 5-3 lead. Djokovic was able to consolidate the break and take a two sets to love lead. The momentum was with the top seed, grabbing a break in the third game of the fourth set. Murray was fighting hard, but Djokovic held all the answers, grabbing a double break to go 4-1 up. It was a big enough lead for Djokovic, serving out the match to take the title in four sets. It's a history-making event. The world number one winning his third Australian Open title in a row. The first time this has been done in the Open era. And it's his fourth title at Melbourne Park overall.